I'm Deborah Mybrig and I'm with Vanya Cullen of Cullen Wines, uh, one of the most respected wineries in Australia and one of the flagship wineries of Margaret River. So Vanya, tell me how the winery was originally established and when? Oh, my parents uh, planted the first quarter acre in Margaret River in 1966 and then the current vineyard in 1971 and uh, they wanted to make great wine so they planted on old soils and uh, had Cabernet Sauvignon and Sauvignon Blanc, Semillon, Chardonnay because uh, particularly Cabernet Sauvignon was recommended mm. to be, it's a very suitable environment for Cabernet Sauvignon, Mediterranean, Maritime, yeah. And you took over winemaking 1983, how did that happen because there are what, six kids that could have done it? Yeah, I'm uh, the youngest of six Yeah, and they're all doctors and lawyers so um, I actually went to Adelaide to study music and um, my father booked me into the wine course, which is really great. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Thanks, that's all. Was... So the whole world owes your dad to thank you for his <laughs> imperious move. Actually, it was nice because it, it brought in a, a creative um, connection to the land. Yeah, yeah. it's great. So then... But you're passionate about your land. Could you speak about that a little bit? Yeah, I think the, the wine comes from the land. So you either have two ways of looking at it. Either you make wine from the heart of the land or the mind of the winemaker. So if you have the land in balance, and healthy vines, healthy fruit, then you have an ultimate outcome which you just have to be caretakers of, of that fruit to make great wine. Mm -hmm. And uh, what do you think is the trend for the region overall? What's happening? Mm. Well the trend for Margaret River is uh, a big region so it's like 118 kilometres long by 27 kilometres wide mm -hmm. and there's differences within the region about you know flavours from north to south. Um, so I think it is that it's the same as Australia really, it's understanding the site, understanding the vineyard and understanding what, what really makes great wine rather than making more of it to make better quality. Mm. I'd say that's and where so the sub-region really abrupt, how would you define it, describe it for people that sort of yeah. want to understand the character of the sites? Yeah, Williabrup was the, the sub-region that, it's a proposed sub-region, it's not actually legal, but it's a proposed sub-region that winemakers talk about um, by John Gladstones, who was the founder of Margaret River, as being a sweet stop, a spot for Cabernet Sauvignon. Mm -hmm. And, and um, the characters of Cabernet Sauvignon in Williabrup are, you know, you get uh, red fruits, cassis, um, chocolate, you get a really silky palette, you get ironstone, you get a little bit of red capsicum, you get the floral, notes of um, rose and violets and that to get a really silky rich plush palette for Cabernet which is unusual for Cabernet and it's the other thing is it's consistent year in year out with the Mediterranean maritime climate you go a little bit further north further south you can still make great wine but it's more um, um, marginal in terms oh. of the climate yeah I mean well, not marginal but you know it's not as consistent as really our product. Well, you're making me thirsty, Yeah. <laughs> um, but before I have a glass of wine, tell me uh, what you like to do when you're not involved with winemaking. What do you do in your spare time? Uh, well, I love music and, the, and nature and um, reading, so I guess it's music and nature and, the and a ocean. bit of yoga. A bit of yoga, yeah, <laughs> and yoga, yeah. yeah, I love yoga. Yeah. Great, well thanks so much Vanya. Okay, thank you sir. <laughs>